This is the Turbo 240 X Lite LF tent. It is the lightest, most compact, and most affordable tent in the turbo range. I'm gonna show you how to set it up and how to pack it away today. Hit it. Ben from Snow is here, guys, at a place that's a great stopover if you're staying in Adelaide and want to check out the Adelaide Hills or a very easy getaway for Adelaideans for a weekend. It's the Brown Hill Creek Caravan Park where we've got some space today to show you some tents. This tent in front of me here is the Black Wolf Turbo 240 X Lite LF. It's the most compact and light tent in the turbo range. It's got a slightly modified frame and some lighter weight materials and it's great for those who don't have the ability to carry a big bulky tent or maybe don't want to muscle with a heavier tent. They weigh what Black Wolf say about 14 kilos, but I'll weigh it in as a little bit above that at about 15 kilos and measure uh, 120 centimeters in length when packed up by about 25 to 30 centimeters in diameter, depending on how tightly you roll it up. I'm gonna show you how to set it up and pack it away today. First, let's check out what comes inside the bag. So there's four elements in the bag here. We've got the fly sheet on my right here. We get a bag of pegs and some extra guy ropes. This is the pole that we use um, to set up the, the vestibule at the front. And this is the main tent frame and the inner tent all in one here. So to start getting it set up, we'll put this stuff aside and we need to spread this out and peg the corners in place. So to unravel the poles here, there's three things we need to do, or three things we need to remove. Firstly, there's a strap around the base here. Now this strap comes completely loose, so make sure we put that with our bag or somewhere we're not gonna lose it. Secondly, there's a strap around the top here. Now this is actually attached to the tent, so if we undo this, it actually stays attached here. And thirdly, each of these pole sections has a loop that goes over the top. So if we remove this, this actually forms part of where we put the peg in eventually, but it also doubles up to hold these all in place, which makes it easier for pack up. So when we un undo each of those on each leg, and then we can let the poles fall to the side and we just need to orient the door so it's facing the right way. Okay, so I've got four pegs here. I've got the tent oriented with the door on this side here, which is where I want it facing. What I now need to do is grab each corner here, pull it out so that it sits out straight, reasonably taut. Don't pull these too tight, just give it a little bit of room to move so that when the frame pops in place, it settles in nicely. So four pegs here, one in each corner. All right, I've got all four pegs in place. I left a little bit of play in these corners here because we need to get this frame into place. Now the next step, is to go to each corner here. And these knuckles that feature on the corner here, we need to invert. As we invert them, you'll see the button on the top will click into place, and that keeps that pole nice and straight. We do that on each corner. So that's the last leg locked into place and straightened. One more step to setting up the inner, and that's to step just inside the door here. Put our hand underneath the central hub, and we just push this up until it pops into place. That's the inner tent all set up, easy as that. Now, we throw the fly over the top. So we've got to orient the fly so that the zips, the feature, the doors feature at the front, because there's a vestibule that sits out here. So it takes a few minutes to orient the fly the right way, and throw it over the top. So it took me a little bit to orient that right, so, a few tips if, uh, if you're setting yours up. Best way to know where the front of the fly is, is the Black Wolf logo that is here. That sits on the front of the vestibule. And the rear wall doesn't have a window in it, so that's the best way to work out front and back. Now to secure the fly to the frame, we're just gonna fold it back up under here. And near the corners, you'll find Velcro tabs, this one here. Now this goes around the frame like so. And then about halfway down the frame, just above the knuckle, there's another Velcro tab that also goes around here to secure it in place. We do that on all four legs, as well as the clip at the base here, which goes into the side release buckle at the bottom. Now we need to set up the vestibule, so we grab the other four pole sections that came with the tent, put the straight ones aside for now, and put these two together so that these corner bits sit at each end. Now to put this in place, we need to, uh, the best thing I think is to undo one of these zips here into the vestibule and step inside because there's actually a sleeve up underneath here that this pole needs to slide into. So once we've got this pole and this sleeve here, and we now grab our straight section, insert it in the end of the pole here and the other end of it goes into this eyelet which features on the inner tent there. Now we just need to keep a bit of tension on it to keep it in place. Grab our second pole and do the same thing on the other side. So we've got a, a brow pole, I suppose, for the vestibule in place here. We can do this zip up again. We just gotta go and put the rest of the pegs in around the base of the fly now. We put two, two pegs in here to 
keep the vestibule out. There's also two pegs on each side and one at the rear to keep the fly all down and stop it from flapping around too much. That is our Turbo 240 X Lite LF. Pretty much all set up. There's a couple of other things we could, there's some that we probably should do. One of them is to use the guy ropes. So they're all contained within their own little pockets here. I'm not gonna do it today, but there's one of these on each corner. Pegging them out gives the tent plenty of stability in bad weather. Other alternatives or other options for setup are these windows. Now these can be set up either zipped closed like I've got it here at the moment. There's a Velcro tab in the middle here to keep it closed and the weather out. There is a second gusset or a gusset that sits in underneath here. So if we undo just the top zip, leave the bottom zip done up, we create a gusseted window like this. There's a few extra guy ropes that come with your kit to go through these eyelets here. Peg this out as a, a, um, a gusseted window to allow ventilation through but keep the rain out. Alternatively, zip them all the way open. There's tabs at the top here for us to secure this window to keep it right up and out of the way and allow breeze right through the tent. Now this window features on the other side, but not at the rear. And the other option we've got for setup is back around at the front here. So around the front here, there is actually one more window here. Same features as the side window with a gusset underneath and also some eyelets here so you can peg it out as a gusseted window. You've also got eyelets in the bottom of this panel here. Now the zips that run right up the side here. So you could actually set this front panel up as an awning if you liked with two extra or two optional um, awning poles. You'd have to buy them as extras. But you've got some guy ropes included with your kit. You can set this up as a sheltered awning out the front of your tent here. Alternatively, you've got quite a few options with uh, the vestibule at the front here. This zip, you can switch this around a little bit, leave the front closed, roll this door at the side back here, this little tabs here to secure this open, and you've got a side entry to the tent. You can also do that on the other side. And that is how you set up the Turbo 240 X Lite LF tent from Black Wolf. That was super easy by myself, didn't take long at all. Pack away is just as easy. First thing I need to do is take the pole out of the vegetable here. Before I uh, go too much further, I'm just gonna unroll this door and leave it either loose or zipped up. It's gonna be a lot easier to fold the tent up if there isn't a big sausage of fabric here. So I'll just leave that done up like this. It's gonna fold up much easier. So I've got the pole out of the vestibule here now. I'm gonna go around now, pull all the pegs out of the base. We've got to undo the clip down at the bottom of the fly here for each of these poles and also the Velcro tabs that are around the frame in underneath here. So the next step is to step inside the tent. So I've done my door up, but I've got to undo it again now. We can leave it just hanging loose. We step inside here. We grab the handle up in the top of the tent that features underneath this hub. We pull that down and the frame will collapse down. Just be careful as you do that, you keep your head out of the way because it does snap down quite quickly. Next step is to go around to each of these legs. We press the button on each of these knuckles and invert the leg in on itself. So we've got all four frames, uh, all four poles collapsed down. So the frame doesn't collapse any further. We just need to start folding it up. So we now pull the pegs out. It's good to leave the pegs in as long as you can because uh, if the wind picks up, there's a good chance that you can damage the tent if it takes off across the campsite. So pull all four pegs out and then I'll show you how to fold all the frame together. So grab your second strap that you put in a safe spot earlier. Just keep that in your back pocket handy. Now go into each of these legs here and fold them up. So fold the, the base where the clip is up to the black knuckle. And then grab the loop where we would normally put the peg in. So this has got the clip for the fly and where the peg would go. And we loop this over the top of this knuckle here. And all that does is hold it all in place so that we don't have to have too many hands trying to fold too many pole parts together. Once we've got all four of those looped over, we bring the four bundles together to the center of the tent. Just making sure the hub sits flat. And this will bring all the fabric up together. Now just spend a few minutes now Instead of flattening the fabric out to the side, we spend a little bit of time doing that. It's gonna make rolling it up easier. And we then need to grab the strap that is secured to the tent. We just gotta find it. Here we go, it's tucked away under here. Wrap this around the poles and it keeps it all in place so that we don't have poles twisting and flying all over the place as we're trying to roll it up. Okay, now we lay the tent down on its side spend a few more minutes trying to straighten this out. You can sort of get a bit of a diamond shape with these square tents now. So if we pull the base out like this, we get a nice square shape that side. Try and do the same thing on this side here. So you can see we've now got 
a nice square shape from here. You fold this end in where the frame finishes, fold one side over the other, and then roll. So I'm just gonna put our extra strap around the base of the tent here now. From here, we can put it all back in the bag. Probably easier to put your poles in first. The main tent, the pegs and the poles in. Then we just gotta tuck the flooring around the edge. Zip it up. That is how you set up and pack away the Turbo 240 X Lite LF tent from Black Wolf. This is the perfect lightweight touring tent for compact setups, couples who are touring, or even a family of four who are looking to really save weight on their setup. You can grab these online at snowies.com.au at our lowest prices every day. If you wanna see more videos like that, subscribe to our channel. We'll send, we'll send you all of our latest and greatest information. If you've got any questions on this turbo tent or any other tent in our range, let us know down in the comments below or head here for some other turbo tent videos.